Hi everyone, welcome to IGCSE Study Buddy, where you can revise chemistry topics from the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus. If you are enjoying our videos so far, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In this video, you are going to learn part 1 of topic 4, Electrochemistry. Electrolysis is the decomposition of an ionic compound when molten or in aqueous solution by the passage of an electric current. So basically, electrolysis involves breaking apart ionic compounds using electricity. Remember that the ionic compound should be either melted or in water so that they have free ions in order to allow electricity to pass through. Let's look at a simple electrolytic cell. This is an electrode. An electrode is a conductor, often a metal or graphite rod, that allows electric current to go in or out of an electrolyte. The electrolyte is the molten or aqueous substance that undergoes electrolysis. Molten means heated until it becomes a liquid and aqueous means dissolved in water. Now just a quick reminder, if an atom loses electrons, it becomes a positively charged ion known as a cation. If it gains or takes in electrons, it becomes a negatively charged ion called an anion. If you watched our video part 3 of chapter 2, Atoms, Elements and Compounds, you might remember this visual representation to remember that cations are positively charged and anions are negatively charged. The cathode is the negative electrode. Opposite charges attract, so the negative charge on the cathode pulls the positive charged cations towards it. So cathodes attract positively charged cations. The anode is the positive electrode. It attracts the negatively charged anions towards it. Here's a tip to remember which electrode is positive and which is negative. A cathode attracts cations. That's easy to remember since both start with cat. We already learned that a cation is a positively charged ion. Remember this picture where I put the positive sign instead of the T in cation? Remember Opposite charges attract each other. So if a cathode attracts positive ions, then it must be negative. Likewise, an anode attracts anions. This is also easy to remember since both start with an. Anions are negatively charged ions. Remember the word negative when you look at the letter N in an ion. Opposite charges attract, so if an anode attracts negative ions, then it must be the opposite, which is positive. During electrolysis, an electric current is required to flow through the circuit. At the power supply, it is the electrons that carry this electric charge through the external circuit. The electrons move from the power supply to the cathode, making it negatively charged. The anode becomes positively charged as it loses electrons. The positive cations in the electrolyte move towards the cathode where they gain electrons. The negative anions in the electrolyte move towards the anode where they lose electrons. The electrons from the anode move back towards the power supply. 
When the current flows in the electrodes and wires, it is the electrons that carry the electrical charge. When the current flows in an electrolyte, it is the ions that move and carry the electrical charge. We should be able to predict the identity of the products at each electrode during electrolysis. As we just learned, please remember that the positive ion or cation will always move towards the cathode and the negative ions or anions will always move to the anode. The electrolyte can be either a molten compound or an aqueous solution. A binary compound is a chemical compound composed of two different elements. Molten compounds are in a liquid state due to being heated to a high temperature, typically above their melting points. So, if the electrolyte is a binary molten ionic compound, we know that once it undergoes electrolysis, the ions in the electrolyte will be just the two elements that make up the compound. Example, in NaCl, the ions present will be Na plus and Cl minus. During electrolysis, we mainly look at how electrons move. When ions touch the electrode, electrons are either lost or gained, creating neutral substances. These neutral substances are then released as products at the electrodes. At the anode, negative ions lose electrons. This is oxidation. So, oxidation is when something loses electrons. And at the cathode, positive ions gain electrons. This is reduction. So, reduction is when something gains electrons. An easy way to remember this is the mnemonic oil rig. Oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons. We use ionic half equations to show these processes making sure the charges are balanced. For example, for the electrolysis of molten sodium chloride, these will be the ionic half equations. At the anode, two chloride ions lose two electrons to form Cl2 gas. So it's rearranged to be written like this. At the cathode, sodium ions gain an electron to form sodium. That concludes part 1 of topic 4, Electrochemistry. Are you enjoying our videos? Are they helping you? Here's a way you can show your appreciation and support our continued efforts. You may use YouTube Super Thanks to send us thanks. Hope this video helped you. Please share your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to IGCSE Study Buddy for more revision videos. Bye-bye.